Truthfulness towards this Nabi and this Prophet is also going out of our way to learn his biography, to learn how he was brought up, to learn his entire lifestyle, the struggles, the trials, the tribulations, the days of happiness, the days of difficulty that he has been through and how he dealt with all the conditions and situations throughout his life. That truthfulness comes with many perks. It comes with many benefits. It will teach us how to lead our own lives. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ Indeed, for you, there is a shining example to emulate in that of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His entire lifetime, his entire existence, so many lessons we have to learn. But if we are not truthful to our own deen, to Allah and to the Messenger, how will we be able to learn that? Some of us have made no effort in trying to learn the details of the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yet we have made a great effort in learning about the lives of the illuminaries of today's age and those who are popular amongst us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to learn the life of the best of creation and to learn a lesson from it. Imagine to be truthful in that way is actually an act of worship. You are reading a life and a biography. And for every word you are reading, you are getting some form of a reward because it is an ibadah, it is an act of worship to go through the sacred life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just like it is an act of worship to go through or to put into practice those teachings of his that we will pick up as we are going through his autobiography. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and may he grant us strength. What is of extreme importance also is for us to be truthful within our own families, truthful to our parents by understanding who they are, by understanding why Allah has chosen them for us and why he has not kept a choice within us as to who our parents will be, nor did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let the parents choose exactly who their children will be, subhanallah. So this is why truthfulness to parents is of utmost importance even if they are not Muslim. We are truthful to them in that we will fulfill their rights. We will respect them. We will not obey them when it comes to the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in everything else, we will be truthful to our link with our parents. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the goodness in that. A day will come, perhaps it has already come for a lot of us, when we will be parents. We would expect truthfulness from our own children. A beautiful relation from them with us so we should also have a beautiful relation with our own parents again to be truthful to your parents in your relation with them is definitely a great act of worship that is enjoined in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made manifest in more than one place in the beautiful revelation so my brothers and sisters just like we should be truthful to our parents it is important it is very important that we as parents or those of us who are parents are truthful to our own children. Truthful to our children by being the correct role models for our children, by bringing up our children in a beautiful way, in such a way that when they look at us, they can learn a beautiful lesson just by looking at us and emulating our lives. Ask yourself a question. Am I a role model for my children or my siblings who might be younger than me? or even those who are slightly older than me. Am I a role model for my family members? If I am, then inshallah, by the will of Allah, I may be the one who is truthful to his own children and his family members. But if I am a person who is a parent, bestowed children, whom many are crying for and don't have, may Allah bless those who don't have children with children through his mercy. I mean, many are crying to have children and we have the children, but we, after we have them, are not the correct role models for them. If this is the case, we are not truthful to the gift of Allah upon us. We are not truthful to our own children. It is important that we understand. Nurturing them will not happen only by admonishing them and by giving them the verbal medication. No, but it comes in a greater way by 
them following the example that we lay. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who, whom their words and their actions are similar. Not from amongst those whose words are in one valley and their actions are in another valley altogether. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength. Brothers and sisters, truthfulness towards your workmates is also extremely important. When we are dealing, we are truthful to the one we are buying from or the one we are selling to. That is of utmost importance. It is the sign of a good Muslim. This is why when we say truthfulness, it extends into every single aspect of our living. Important to know that if I am dealing and I have cheated a person in my business or in the product that I am about to sell to him or her. In that case, how can I call myself an upright believer when I'm not truthful? Similarly, if I'm working for someone and I cheat when it comes to my hours of work or the conditions of work, I am busy on the internet whilst I'm supposed to be doing something else. I'm reading the paper. I'm having tea. I've gone out on an extended lunch break every single day with an excuse that is lame. If that is the case, I'm not truthful in my workplace. How will we as a Muslim Ummah be able to achieve? How will we be able to answer the Almighty when he has placed on our shoulders certain responsibilities that we are not fulfilling? Today we are in this beautiful university in this beautiful country of Malaysia. And I'm sure every one of us, mashallah, we have a timetable when to attend lectures, when to perhaps deliver the lectures in the case of the lecturers and so on. When we would come and when we would go, if we were people who stuck by that timetable, we would achieve much more. Don't you agree? But if we were people who were not truthful, even to our own timetables, then we would not be upright mu'mineen because it would be difficult for a person who is who disregards their timetables to actually become very mindful of their own salah this is why i have found and perhaps you may have found that a person who is regular with their five daily prayers they would be regular with most of their other appointments through the day so if a person arrives five minutes before salah for every single salah when they have an appointment at the doctor, they will perhaps arrive five minutes before the appointment. Not like those who could not be bothered to pray. They are not truthful to their maker in the obligation of prayer. How will they be truthful to a little dentist down the road whom they have an appointment with? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Some of the brothers and sisters must be thinking, well, the dentist has been paid, so we will arrive there early. The reality is, the payment, the really, the payment is not what is of importance, but the discipline and the truthfulness is what is, is, what is of importance. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the gift of prayer and salah at specific times connected to the sun. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us more steadfast in that prayer so that we can be more truthful in our relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, truthfulness extends to our neighbors. We need to be truthful by protecting the interests of our neighbors, those that are common and those that are within the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If your neighbor has left, for example, whether it's on holiday or on a daily basis to work, it's up to us to take care of their property or to keep an eye without even having been told. But with us, let's be honest, today we don't even know who our neighbors are. We live in high rise buildings and the person who's at the door right next to us, we've never even greeted them. Perhaps we might have bumped into them in the lift without knowing that they were our neighbors for the last 12 years. Is this what is considered as truthfulness? When the neighbor has so many rights that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that Jibreel, the angel Gabriel, kept on stressing the rights of the neighbors to the degree that he says, I thought he was going to make him an heir of my estate when I pass away. That's how important the relations with the neighbors is in Islam. Yet a lot of us can do much better. Let us make an effort inshallah to know our neighbors solely for the pleasure of Allah. Solely because we have rights over them, they have rights over us. My brothers and sisters, truthfulness extends into so many things. Even when it comes to lost property, imagine how it is such a great act of worship 
to search and to look for the person whose property it may be. A person who calls out in a public place saying that we have the property that is lost. Whoever has lost X, Y or Z, please contact so and so. Did you know that that is a great act of worship and it is a sign of truthfulness? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. So if this is the teaching of Islam, take a look at how beautiful our lives will be. People are truthful to us and we are truthful to them. But it all starts with truthfulness to Allah and to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to the deen as a whole. My brothers and sisters, if we look at the systems that operate, not only in this country, but in most countries, take a look at the traffic, for example, how it moves, the courtesy on the road, the fulfillment of the laws and the rules in order to create or to facilitate the movement of traffic. It is important that we are truthful to the laws of the land as well, where they facilitate for us to live in a way that everyone is catered for and everyone is looked after. This is of utmost importance. A person who breaks the road rules, for example, will create such a big inconvenience for others that they would not be known as a good Muslim. Imagine you see a person looking like a very religious man and he is the one breaking all the rules of the road. And when you tell him, brother, why are you doing this? He tells you it's not in the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us.